The nuts on tour Rolling in the motor home Moving town to town Never feel alone Morning, I'm Sue Morning, I'm Mark And together we are Nuts, nuts on, on tour. tour This is the fourth part the last part of our trip to the newark international national 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 international national national yeah national motorhome and camper van show so first things first did you like the new music pass comments below our new music was supplied and done by dave and mande thank you very much for doing that we think it's brilliant we like it a lot uh, thanks to all our new subscribers. Uh, thanks for all the subscribers that stopped us and had a chat while we we're going around the show, and uh, those that asked for sticker swaps. Uh, we had chats with Jill and Dave from Van Dromeda's Travels, Mike and Kate Halliday, which were. There you go, that's their sticker two touring together we also met uh touring with the kids a sticker from them and uh oh yes when we were at the mcc tent yeah we met uh kate claire claire, claire not kate kate is mike's wife it was claire who is the defiant traveler so we saw her as well and then we saw we had a quick chat with Beth and Ricky because they were rushing away hope your party went well the hills explore uh, after that we went round the show did some more vans and filming uh, and then Monday that was that was it for Sunday and then uh, didn't get it out Sunday night because the weather came over a bit grey and I wanted to get everything packed up and away while it was still dry. Nice, yeah. And then yeah. we had Andy and was that Saturday they came over? Andy and No, Sunday. Brenda. That was Sunday. Was it Sunday? Yeah. And then we went to see James, didn't we? At yeah. Home we had uh, Andy and Brenda had a really good chat with us. You'll fall. So as you're trying to get between the pilot and co-pilot seats. <laughs> Silly puppy. We had a really good chat with Andy and Brenda, like I said. And then uh, went to see James Riley, his mum, and little Angus, their dog, at Motorhome Happiness. Had a chat with them on the evening. And then Monday, it was, yeah, Monday, it was finish the rest of the packing and scoot home. Mm -hmm. So I will put, I will put a bit of the journey home. I'll put a bit of the journey home and some music, just so you can see, hear the rest of the music and see the travel home. On with the vid. Good morning and here we are on the Camper UK site and today we're going to have a look at this Laker on a 22 plate. There they are the price £5 short of £101,000. This is an Eco VIP 4109 DS. Laker. We've got bike rack and what? Two cameras at the top and the lights. And your garage is on a. There you go. Your garage is on a hydraulic door or an air door. So it opens on a soft close. And then inside, the other side you have a half door. This side you have a full door. You've got storage rails on the bottom so you can tie it to tie things down an electric point and i think that is your water dump weight limit on that is 250 kgs lock that up down the side there you've got pull lip below yeah oh there we go waterproof and then nice wide pull out step here we are inside the laker i'm not quite sure that's the correct pronunciation but 
that's my pronunciation straight into your kitchen you have six drawers there which there you go yeah they are soft clothes on this side and a little one under your uh, yeah, cutlery one yeah cutlery one under your uh, under your cooker above you've got your three burner cooker a Thetford and a lovely deep sink that's a nice deep sink nearly washed the baby in there looking forward you have belted seat on that side as your seat belt the fold over and fold out table so you can fold that away and you've got plenty of room to get down the side and then on that side you have another double seat with another seat belt looking forward it's on a Fiat cab Fiat front end so you've got a lovely big screen in the middle it's on the nine speed Fiat gearbox very nice drive mode and a Fiat steering wheel and then you've got the driver's sweetie draw always have left seat if left any oh no no sweeties today driver's sweetie and your wing mirror and I think that yeah that's the driving mirrors and then above you've got your drop down bed you've all seen a drop down bed so I'm not gonna there you go there's your drop down bed I'm not going to undo that you can see up there you've got a hakey roof light above and a drop down bed above your sink you've got oh very nice split cupboards there's a four-way split on that one and a huge cupboard there for your stand-up boxes so plenty of larder area and then coming back here you have a bifold door shower yeah very nice plenty of room in there you slide across you slide across doors to close off your bedroom yeah and then if I turn around on the other side you've got your you've got your wash basin and your toilet and that the door shuts it off from the front it's an EB style bed typical European EB style bed and cupboards above all the way around little USB charging points on either side and little bedside lights above very nice and this is the Burstner Harmony line five pounds short of 93,500 the Lyceo range this is a TD644G Harmony four berth seven meters overall length like I said this is five pounds short of 93,500 so this is inside the garage of the Harmony there you go the bed is a by the looks of things the beds are raising lower got a light there access underneath and tie down rails tie down rails either side round the back you've got window at the back and the camera so this is inside the harmony step up nice little wine rack and your control panel up there you have your switches down here for your lights your steps coming out bits and pieces and then wanted to show you this one because it's the reverse way you've got directly opposite you've got your larder again switches hanging rail not larder that this one must be a larder then yeah hanging rail and larder and then a Thetford triple x cooker so 
Yeah. There we go. Thetford Triple X cooker with the oven and oven and grill below. Spotless. Absolutely lovely. And then at the side of that you've got your sink. Very nice. Drawers underneath. Um, oh no, that's a drop down, not drawers. That's a drop down, that one. There's access to your e gas connections there. Hold on. Yeah, access to your gas connections there. I can't open that one because the table's actually in the way. That's locked off at the minute. And then your drawers. And the back is your seating area, your dining area, and your bed. And above, just get the camera to pan up, you have a drop down bed. So you've got a bed at the bottom and a bed at the top. Yeah, sort of, I think that's a double bed as well. So you've got plenty of space there. A little rack there, about two inches, 50 mil for you that have been metrificated. And then USB points, USB point and plug socket at the back in the corner. Same in the other corner. Your blinds down, going forwards from the kitchen area. On the starboard side, you have the shower. So, yeah, plenty of room. I'm six foot two, plenty of room for me to stand up in there. And for those people that like them, they are twin points, twin drains. I'm going to try and turn around. I'm not going to stand in the shower. It's a bit muddy outside, so I'm not going to get muddy everywhere. Your door closes off. And then you have your WC toilet, storage underneath, square sink with, yeah, square sink with a, yeah, chamfer on it. Mm. Different. Storage above the toilet, and hello, there's me again. And then I'll shut the door. Looking forward, you've got Fiat engine, Fiat steering wheel nine speed automatic box and huge display in the middle for your music and your sat nav nicely laid out so this is the roller team t-line 740 this is a brand new one there's someone looking at the front so i'll start at the back on this one you've got bike rack brake lights at the top and a double camera so you've got one looking down at your tow point or your tow car or whatever not that there is a tow bar on it yet and one looking straight behind you moving round nice big garage it's a raisin lower bed plenty of space tie down there you go Get the camera down there. Yeah. Tie down points. They're not rails, they're just individual points. And it's an English build, so your door is on this side. There's the spec sheet for it. It's a 2024 reg. Five pounds short of 75,000 pound. It's a manual, 7.41 meters and it's three and a half ton. Nice wide door, big strip light above and going inside. So here we go inside into the dining area. Love the table. Nice little steps on the way in nice marble effect table that's lovely yeah double seat there captains and co-pilots chair there little single seat on this side it's on a fiat six speed manual so you've got the usual fiat steering wheel with all the controls the big pioneer screen 
and then USB charging points and 12 volt drivers and passenger doors in the kitchen area you have cupboards there with I think that's a slide out yet yeah, slide out unit for your tins and above that slide out unit for your cutlery again above that you've got a nice sink no doubt there will be a, an infill plate there but they've removed that for security reasons stop people stealing it yeah I, I know that's something i haven't seen size of the rings on it that's an interesting 180 mil 180 mil 160 mil there you go that's interesting yeah don't put it down when it's hot yes above that you have that way yeah above that you have panda candle up slowly <laughs> shelves above yeah inside your cupboard and a drop down bed don't know if that's electric yes it is there's the just panned past it yeah electric drop down bed so i imagine your table will have to be shoved out of the way because that cupboard will come down roughly where that table is so your table will need to be shoved over to the middle on this side which is the passenger side you've got little cupboard above with solar in it on this side of the door you've got your point for your telly big mirror as you come in and then you've got fridge freezer fridge freezer there pan it back down yeah. plenty of room in that and at the bottom is a drawer freezer yep yeah, there you go at the bottom you've got a nice drawer freezer back from there you've got oh nice yes shower on one side then your sink cupboard storage underneath nice big shaving mirror hello and on the other side you have wc little bit of storage for your loo rolls etc yeah normal it's a normal thetford toilet again more storage above more storage above and then you have two doors so you have your own door into your bedroom yeah one either side this looks like a full-size queen bed fold up yeah storage under the bed loads of storage under there let's fold that back i believe yeah that oh, noisy that lifts up to give you even more storage that goes all the way back in there brilliant the storage in here is yeah quite phenomenal quite phenomenal and then speakers in on the so either side and another telly point and then let's have a look inside one of the wardrobes yeah nice deep hanging inside your wardrobe yeah this is a nice layout and a nice van yes this for nice layout and a nice van so the doors pull across i can't pull them across at the moment because they've got the carpet in and the carpet protectors don't want to rook them up but doors either side pull across i believe that plate is the infill plate that goes into the bottom of the shower so you're not walking on your shower tray you're walking on the plate i think that fits in like that and the cutout is just for where the door is very nice and then a the door is actually a smoked smoked perspex door nice height there's a hanging rail in there very nicely thought about nice deep shower 
with a vent above you those of you that watch the channel know i like a vent in my shower yeah and a, a nice strong hanging rail for hanging your coats on or your wet gear on inside your light above looking down you got the obligatory carbon monoxide and smoke alarm there's a hickey roof light above me and the big picture one above the driver in the very front so that gives it a nice bright airy light feel it seems very very spacious like this van a lot so for five pounds short of 75,000 pounds that's quite a lot of it's a very spacious van <laughs> he's hiding from me already there you go here we are on mnc stand and we're looking at this euro Mo Eura mobile contra five star brand new van by the looks of things we'll start by having a little look in the garage <sighs> oh look at that nice yeah nice big garage i don't know if I think you can just about see that space here for your ramps your ramps already, already got their own little rack big door on either side there is a outside shower on the far side and little alcoves for putting all your goodies away in hidden away all over very nice well thought out i like them when they're well thought out yeah and there is securing rails down both sides going down the outside we have TV point not sure what that one is ah gas point for an outside barbecue like I said TV point it's a single axle on the back not a tag storage in there and the model is a demonstrator vehicle 119,000 it is the euro mobile contura ct 766 ef it's a mercedes sprinter two liter 170 brake horsepower 17 inch alloys available in right hand drive this is a left hand drive auto right hand drive also available so going in we have in the entrance you've got <laughs> the dustbin on the door with somebody said oh i never knew that so if you look in the lid hard to do with one hand especially with that especially with me brace on there you go in there you get in there you get a little dustpan and brush so for those of you that don't know look inside your dustbin on your door and if you've got a little grey thing like that try pushing that and see if you've got a dustbin and pan so on the step nice deep step inside you've got your controls for your steps and your lights and then going inside oh now this is bright and airy this feels like a lot bigger van than it is wow so I'll move his paperwork about a minute pan that down <clears throat> three burner thetford hob it's in like a corian effect that's not uh, that's not removable that's actually nicely done nicely done so in your sink you fold your sink out and your draining board is actually part of your sink low level tap i'm not sure if that comes up or not yes it does yeah so your tap comes up so you can use it and then when you're finished you fold it back down so good use of space saving there and with that down it makes a nice flat surface lovely under there you have cutlery tray oh nice like it soft closed drawers <laughs> more of his paperwork hidden away it's all right we're at a show you have to do these things 
and then the bottom one isn't a drawer the bottom one's actually a nice deep cupboard right from there forwards two seater folded up table and the two seater on the other side we'll just see yeah so there you go that's with you obviously the table moves either either way so that will come to the center so you can get six people around it two four two at the front real party bus real party bus no drop down bed at the front note you have cupboards all the way around let's just open one of these and there you go inside a four-way split four-way split cupboard on yeah on gas struts nice solid lock nice yes like that they've used the space here it says push i can't resist push there you go and that tilts up to give you most oh i like it they've used as much of the space as they can manage brilliant same on the other side yes same on the other side and again another big four-way split cupboard with double shelf underneath again good use of space little reading light on an arm here and then at the front pilot and co-pilot seat mercedes engine so you get mercedes wheel with your speaker controls your preset for your auto cruise nice dash a big size screen for all your communications and your sat nav couple of drinks holders uh, it's keyless ignition so start engine and no doubt somewhere there will be a 12 volt charging point it's a B class so you get a driver and co-pilot's doors and turning around to look at the back on this side we have fridge and is it that side no locked yeah fridge and freezer above and then above that it's typical german tech tower you've got your oven and grill above that behind that you have your shower and toilet on the what would be the UK driver's side you've got your shower hang on let's turn a light on so you can see yeah you've got your shower for me only a vent in the shower not a big light and nice tall shower I can fit in here no problem I'm six foot two there is a step at the bottom there is a step there along the bottom which is the wheel arch and a double drained shower tray so yeah plenty of room for me to get in there must admit get in the one side shut the door get in the other side so yeah plenty of room in that one and then if you shut the door that shuts the front off and in the other side you have hello me again yeah you've got your toilet and your shower basin storage above and below in the bedroom you've got eb style bed you've got oh pan up for that there you are double cupboards here two on this side two on the other side and two above the bed directly in the little alcove there you've got a plug socket and usb sockets lighting underneath you then get you then get the pull out that you put your infill on to make your bed into a full size a little i don't know if that'll stay up yeah a lift up there to go into your garage if i just hold on. right try that if i lift that up 
you can see that goes down into the garage and then you have cupboards on either side so on this side oh on this side you have shelving and hanging space that's an infill try not to slam the door this time and on this side you've got cupboard space shelving and if you take that out hanging space on this side as well with a little light at the back shut that one up turn it down so there you are all in all very well thought out very well laid out and winterized nice leather either leather or leatherette and there's your driving position again this is a left hand drive so ideal if you're thinking of touring on Europe in Europe uh, very very nice over 900 kgs of payload in this one and that's the spec sheet for it recommended price five pound under 30, 137,000 sure price five pound under 127,000 demonstrator five pound under 120,000 a lot of vehicle the nuts on tour rolling in the motor home moving town to town never feel alone going from place to place waving at every face hitting the road with grace never in a rush meeting friends old and new sharing stories it's what we do laughs are filling the air true with the open sky so blue to flow in this endless show With the 
open sky so blue. Well, I hope you enjoyed the video and also um, the new theme that uh, we've now got, which is just for us, which is wonderful. And thank you again to Mandy and Dave and uh, look forward to bumping into you again at some point in the future. Yep. Maybe it's another Warner show. Who knows? I think they were going to Lincoln. I I'm think. not sure. I think not. And uh, hope you enjoyed it. Like I say, any comments, put them in underneath and we will answer any comments. Always do. And uh, the uh, usual, subscribe, thumbs up and ring the bell. Now I have got one thing to say and that is if you subscribe to our channel ooh, when it first started, which was two years ago, you, may, years. Yeah, wow. you may need... To check you are still subscribed if you wish to be because apparently YouTube has this lovely thing of every now and again if you haven't done anything if for you a while watched it all or done anything for a while they sort of unsubscribe you, you. Yeah, yes our our figures have been going up and down like the proverbial but it's not so much that I had one lady who yeah. came through to me and said I thought I'd subscribe to you I'm sure I had but when I went on I hadn't so like I say if you haven't been on for a while you may find check. you have been unsubscribe check you are still still subscribed if you wish to be yes and, and the 83 percent of you who aren't why not <laughs> it would be nice it's free don't cost anything my favorite price you know does not cost anything just to tick the box tick the box it helps the channel grow and means we can carry on producing videos yes see you in the next one bye, bye. Lots of fill in the air, true With the open sky so blue